Welcome to the new Drawings Features demonstration for Cabinet Vision Solid 2011 R2. In this video we will be talking about new features that have been added to Cabinet Vision. With the introduction of Cabinet Vision Solid 2011 R2, when you select a scene in the Drawings view of Cabinet Vision, a preview will now be displayed. Let's take a look at how this works using a simple job that I created previously. The first thing that we need to do is send the current view to the Drawings view. To do this, we can right-click anywhere in the view to display the view's context menu. For the purposes of this demonstration, we only need a static drawing, so we can select the To Drawing command from the context menu. Now that we have sent this view to the Drawings view, we can go ahead and go to the Drawings view to take a look at our sample. While in the Drawings view, when we select any of the CAD scenes shown here, a preview will be presented to us. Let's go ahead and try that. Now we can see the new preview window. Additionally, we have the option to specify what types of previews will be shown. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. Here you can see the options available to us. If we specify none, the preview will be turned off. If we select all, a preview is shown for all drawing types. If we select only statics, then only static views such as the one we sent will be shown. With the introduction of Cabinet Vision Solid 2011 R2, using snap points to place a scene has been enhanced to allow you to align the scene using snap points from the grid, from the paper, or from other scenes. To take a look at how we can change this functionality, we will use the job we were using previously. First, we will need to look at the view properties. To do this, we can right-click anywhere in the view to display the View's Context menu. With the View's Context menu open, we can click on the Properties command to display the View Properties dialog. With this dialog open, we see a new option, Drag Scene from Snap Point. With this option checked, we can click on a scene anywhere to drag it around. Additionally, we see a combo box next to the Snap Point's label. This allows us to define how the snap points work. Let's take a look at those options right now. The options available to us are None, which will cause the scenes to not snap to anything, Paper Points, which allows us to snap a scene using CAD elements that exist on the paper or outside of a scene, and All Scene Points. This allows us to specify that the scene will snap to points that exist in other scenes. Let's take a look at how these different options affect our ability to place a scene on a drawing. As a note, we need to ensure that the Snap to Points option is turned on for this new feature to work. Now let's go ahead and place the scene on the paper. In previous versions of Cabinet Vision, you could only use the red drag symbol to place a scene. Now, we can, with the Drag Scene from Snap Point option enabled, drag the scene from snap points within the scene as well. Let's go ahead and place another copy of this scene on the drawing. This will help to illustrate some of the new functionality. Now that we have two scenes placed, let's go ahead and drag this scene around. I would like to note that I have changed my Snap Points option to All Scene Points for this illustration. Let's go ahead and start by clicking on this point in our scene to drag it around. Now you can see, by these lines, that while dragging around our scene, we can snap to other scene points. If we had a title block on the paper, or any other CAD elements, we would be able to snap to them as well. This concludes the demonstration of the new Drawings Area features in Cabinet Vision Solid 2011 R2. Thank you for viewing this video and please take a look at our other videos on the new features in Cabinet Vision.